Welcome on board Regent Seven Seas Voyager. This is gonna be a cabin tour of Deluxe Veranda, room 809. We are on deck eight, and this cabin is 356 square foot. It's 306 square foot for the cabin and 50 square foot for the veranda. Before we get started, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and if you have any questions about Regent Seven Seas, please put them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Okay, so let's go inside and take a look at this entry-level basic category. This is, quote unquote, the worst cabin that you can book on Regent Seven Seas Voyager, and it's not bad. All right, let's head inside and take a look around. So first on the left, you have your thermostat, and we'll head inside here and show you the bathroom. So you've got a glass shower enclosure, pretty large with an adjustable shower head, your toilet, some towel bars. You have some storage shelving on either side, some glasses, storage shelving there as well. And then you have cabinets below. You have a single sink, but it is quite large. And in this category of room, Regent provides you with L'Occitane bath products. And you've got a full, full size assortment, uh, pretty large bottles, and they do replace those daily as you use them. You have a full size soaking tub. It's not so wide, but it is pretty long. So definitely will fit a taller individual. You have an adjustable shower head there, grab bar, and then your towel rack. And you do have one of those doodads where you can string it across and dry your bathing suit. All right, so I'll come out here into the hallway. You have some hooks here. You can hang up your baseball cap, your jacket, dry a towel if you want. You have a full length mirror, head to toe. There I am. And then here you have a curtain. You can close that, especially in the evening if one person is using the bathroom. And the other traveling companion has fallen asleep. It's pretty handy to have that. On the left-hand side, you have your walk-in closet. And let's find the switch, here we go. So you've got some hanging space on the left, bathrobes, you have some slippers, and here you have your shoehorn and some storage drawers, your hair dryer, laundry service, and again, the valet laundry service is included in all categories on Regent, including the entry-level deluxe veranda. So. You don't have to worry about bringing 25 pairs of underwear or socks. They will wash them and get them back to you within 24 hours. Here you have some more hooks for hanging things like belts and things like that. So very smartly designed and you can definitely fit a lot in that closet. Coming into the room itself, on the left-hand side, you've got a small vanity space with backlit mirrors. You have some power plugs. Um, including European, North American, and I think that is South American. Well, it's your power switch for the lights. You have a mirror and a small uh, stool that comes out. Your queen size bed, the beds can be split up if you want two twins instead of a, a one larger bed. You have night side tables on either side, a phone, and then here you have your power switches for your nighttime reading light, your uh, bedside lamp, and then also a master switch where you can turn off everything at once when you're ready to go to sleep and you want all the lights off. So they have a mat here for new guests when they arrive to put their suitcase on top of the bed to unpack and not get the sheets dirty from the suitcase. Over here, you've got an elegant analog clock instead of one of those digital alarm clocks. And you have here this little folder which holds uh, the remote and gives you the channel listing. You have a nice size sofa and a coffee table slash dining table. If you order room service, they will bring you linens and set up your breakfast, lunch, or dinner if you want to eat in the cabin. On the right-hand side, you have over here a phone, uh, more power outlets, and then down below your bar items ice bucket, a champagne bucket, corkscrew, uh, glasses of various sizes. And then you have a desk work area here, flat panel TV, and then um, some more switches for the room. And then here in this cabinet, you'll have your stocked 
mini fridge where you can keep stuff cold. They've given you here a destination collection so you can start shopping for your next cruise while you're on board this one. They do oftentimes give you promotions like a reduced deposit, some extra savings, and some extra onboard credit if you book on board your current sailing and plan your next one. Okay, so outside here is our balcony. And you can see we here are in Brazil at anchor and there is a much larger cruise ship across from us that holds about 4,000 people and our ship here holds about 700. So definitely a different scale. But you have uh, two chairs here that do recline as well as your table. So it's nice to be able to get some fresh air and see where it is you're sailing into or out of and uh, enjoy the fresh sea air breezes. I am just going to loop around and give you one more look of this deluxe veranda category room here on the Regent Seven Seas Voyager. Please put a comment if you have any questions about this room. Thank you so much for watching and bon voyage.